Welcome back to Wilderness Wanderings in the Word. I'm Pastor Phil, and today is October 7th, and our scripture reading is Mark 2. I've entitled this devotion, What Real Faith Looks Like. Our scripture reading is Mark chapter 2, verse 1 through 4. When Jesus entered Capernaum again after some days, it was reported that he was at home. So many people gathered that there was no more room, not even in the doorway. And he was speaking the message to them. Then they came to him, bringing a paralytic carried by four men. Since they were not able to bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof above where he was, and when they had broken through, they lowered the man on the mat with the paralytic lying on it. Four men were concerned about the plight of their friend who could not walk. One day they decided to take their friend to Jesus. When they drew near to the house where Jesus was teaching, they found the crowds far too d- dense to get their friend near Jesus. What would they do? They cared deeply about their friend, but the obstacle of the crowd was almost insurmountable. They looked at each other and made a decision. This decision was different from anything they had ever made before. You need to know something about this house. Jesus had been staying at Peter's home in Capernaum for some time, and that was also referred to as Jesus' house. See, when he comes to live at your house, it's no longer your house. It belongs to him. So Jesus came back to Capernaum and was in Peter's home. Crowds had gathered in Peter's, now Jesus' home, and Jesus was teaching in the middle of the living room, so to speak. The four friends of the paralytic had arrived and discovered there was no room for them in the house. They put their heads together and made the decision. They picked up their friend and made the arduous journey to the rooftop. Can you see the picture of these four men carrying their friend up to the roof? I can hear the paralyzed man saying, What do you think you're doing? Please don't drop me from the roof. Perhaps a friend replied, What are you worried about if we drop it? You already can't walk. (laughs) See them on the rooftop now. What are we going to do? They ask once again. They put their heads together and the hilarious begins. They begin to break up the tiles in the roof and dig their way through it to Jesus. (laughs) All the while, Jesus is teaching in the room below. Can you visualize the dust and the dirt beginning to fall on Jesus as he teaches? <laughs> the sun starts to break through the open hole in the roof, and, which gets bigger and bigger as Jesus continues to teach about the kingdom. As Jesus continues to teach, the four friends very carefully let down their friend on the mat. This paralyzed man is lowered to the floor right in front of Jesus. The crowd stops, and there's a very awkward silence as Jesus looks up at the paralyzed man on his mat, looks around the room, and then looks up at the four friends on the roof. I think Jesus had to smile just a little bit at the persistence of these four friends. Jesus now had a skylight in his living room, and sunlight was filling every corner of the room. He looks around again and then at the paralyzed man and tells him, Be of good cheer, your sins are forgiven. Rise, take up your bed and go home. What was it that healed this paralyzed man? Was it his faith? I can assure you his faith had nothing to do with it. Take note of verse 5, when Jesus saw their faith, not the faith of the paralyzed man, the faith of his four friends. What does real faith look like? It looks like these four friends who will not take no for an answer for their friend. God, help me to be a friend to those who need you. Amen.